Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in the city. And now I live in the Midwest, on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, I know it's December and we're thinking about Christmas and that Jesus is the reason for the season, right? <laughs> Don't forget that. That's the most important thing this December. <laughs> but also, it is gorgeous outside. Oh, it is sunny. It is 55 degrees and there's hardly any wind. Rick is so happy to be in the field. <laughs> he loves these gorgeous days when it's sunny and he can get out on the tractor and get some field work done before the ground freezes. <laughs> I'm looking out my window and seeing all kinds of farm equipment, so apparently we aren't the only ones. <laughs> but I love this recipe. It's chicken pasta primavera. Primavera means spring in Italian, so it's winter, but it's spring in my kitchen. <laughs> so ciao bella! <laughs> Let me show you what you'll need. Chicken, pasta, butter, yellow squash, broccoli, sweet peppers, mushrooms, Parmesan cheese, and if you'd like, minced onion and garlic. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about this recipe today. Chicken pasta primavera, I make all the time. I love it, my girls make it. It's really good, it's sort of healthy, it's beautiful. <laughs> The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna boil our pasta. I've got my extra virgin olive oil, or some people say evu, which is super fun to say. <laughs> let's put a little evu in that water, and let's boil our pasta, and then we'll cut our veggies. You can use any vegetables that you have that are colorful and your favorites. I love yellow squash. <laughs> There's something so wonderful about chopping yellow squash. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the texture or just how it's so smooth. It's wonderful. <laughs> and maybe because I love it. I love it raw. I love it sauteed. <laughs> I love it baked. This is a super easy dish because you can make it in one saute pan. I've always wanted to learn how to cut like a real chef, like like you see in the movies. You always want to consider the people at your table if it's your family or guests, you don't want to put them in a position where they're trying to get a giant piece of food in their mouth and they don't know what to do. So <laughs> think about bite size. I'm only chopping two of this yellow squash because I always overmake <laughs> and it always spills out. I don't know why. <laughs> I always think more is more <laughs> and it is. <laughs> but I thought I would only put two in just so that it could fit in my pan. <laughs> Boundaries are good. <laughs> now I'm gonna chop my broccoli. I love the ends of the broccoli, the broccoli florets. Those are my fave. So I'm gonna chop them all off and I'm gonna use those and saute those for my recipe. Since I'm gonna use these cute little guys for my recipe, you wonder what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> I'm going to use my food processor and chop this up into shreds <laughs> and then I'm gonna add it to my green salad. Isn't that so fun and healthy? <laughs> you can also chop this up and put it in soup. <laughs> I'm trying not to waste anything, right? Have y'all ever forgotten about your broccoli? <laughs> I have left my broccoli in the fridge before and it'll be busy, a busy time. You know, not now when I had kids living at home <laughs> and I would forget about it, but that smell will make you remember. <laughs> so I always leave my broccoli out on my counter until I use it that way. It is screaming at me, hey, use me. <laughs> Did your broccoli talk to you? Again, this is not a good bite size for your guests or your family. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make this smaller. When I was younger, uh, mom had us go to this class called Graces and I think it was with the church and it was really neat and it was all about glorifying God through manners and things. The lady who taught it, she was just so elegant and classy. <laughs> she taught us that the reason we learn graces is so that we can love others well around us. I was like, oh, that's perfect. Isn't that fun? It's not so you can know all these great manners. It's so that you can love others well. <laughs> the greatest commandment to love. So I'm loving others well by making these bite size. <laughs> you can use any kind of sweet pepper with this. I had these on hand because my daughter was home and she loves snacking on these. And I thought, oh, I can make chicken pasta primavera and use those. <laughs> so I'm using these cute little ones. I love these raw and sauteed as well, as do my girls. <laughs> With these stems, Blythe told me that I can give them to the goats, <laughs> that they would like them. I can't wait to do that. Sometimes we let our goats out 
just to roam around the farm. They love being out of their pen. They love it. They have an indoor part and an outdoor part, but they love being out just kind of walking around and they never go far from us. We'll stand out there and watch them. They're so sweet. They're great pets. You can take the little seeds out if you want to. I leave them in because I think they're cute. <laughs> and the last thing we're gonna chop are fresh mushrooms. <laughs> I love fresh mushrooms. <laughs> I always think I should eat a few just for good measure. <laughs> Don't y'all think? Chopping mushrooms is one of my favorite things. I love doing it. <laughs> it's just so fun. They have such a fun texture. <laughs> Perfect. Now we are ready to saute. Woo! I'm gonna put two sticks of salted butter in my saute pan. I turned on this heat and it is so hot. This butter is just going to melt like that. <laughs> Watch this butter. I can't wait. <gasps> Hear that sizzle? <laughs> In my... Oh, this is... <laughs> There's so much smoke. I'm going to turn on the vent. Oh. <laughs> that automatically turned brown. I'm going to put in my vegetables to saute. I'm going to do broccoli first. It's so hot. I don't want to put it on the burner again. <laughs> I might move it over to add my veggies. <laughs> broccoli first, because broccoli is gonna take the longest to get soft. I'm gonna add another stick of butter. You can't have too much butter. Then I'm gonna add my yellow squash. I love colorful food. <laughs> I love uncolorful food as well. Peppers, that is so beautiful. Now I'm gonna add my mushrooms. It smells so good. And it's just vegetables and butter. <laughs> Some of my favorite ingredients. You can chop an onion if you want to and add to it to saute, and I would do that first if you're going to add a real onion, but I'm just going to do a little minced onion because it gives the flavor without the thick onion pieces. I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic, just a little pinch because, you know, garlic, <laughs> it adds everything. <laughs> you could put a lid on it if you want to make it go a little bit faster. It's a party. I spilled some yellow squash. Hey, woo! Oh! Gorgeous. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer because I like my veggies really soft <laughs> or really raw. I just don't want them in the middle. <laughs> you know how God says he doesn't want us to be lukewarm as believers? Well, I don't like a lukewarm veggie. I don't like a luke cooked veggie. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> and after those veggies are soft enough, I'm gonna add my cooked shredded chicken. I have my cute little cup from Shanny, little bird. <laughs> birds so much fun. I like real birds too. One time the girls had birds. I believe it was Blythe when she was little. They make the biggest mess, but they're so cute. One of my mom's friends, Janie, has a bird that can talk. Isn't that cool? I'm going to add two cups of cooked shredded chicken. It smells so good. And I've got my Israel spoon. Y'all can add some more butter if your chicken kind of absorbs all the butter and you think there needs to be a little more liquid in there, you can add more butter. It's time to add the pasta. I just added a cup of Parmesan cheese, but I thought the camera was on. It wasn't. <laughs> so, Parmesan cheese, voila! It's done! Ooh, can y'all see? So pretty. Y'all, thanks so much for being with me today and cooking some chicken pasta primavera. That's ciabella. I think that actually means hello, goodbye, beautiful in Italian. <laughs> But it sounds so fun to say when we're making chicken pasta primavera. So there you go. Continue to have a wonderful week. Don't forget to thank Jesus, the reason for the season. Thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time. <laughs> Hi.